Meanwhile, South Asia remains extremely vulnerable to the coronavirus given the close proximity to China. So far, there is one country that has come forth and has admitted that one individual in that country has been infected by this deadly coronavirus. In fact, there are said to be about two people who are presently kept under observation in Nepal, which has been pretty forthcoming in admitting that, yes, there has been there have been cases of this infection having taken place. The coronavirus infected patient has been identified as a student who had come back home from Wuhan for the holidays. The patient has now been kept in quarantine and his immediate family is under observation. Our sources have also revealed a possible case in Pakistan as well of a man who travelled from China to Dubai and then to Karachi. He arrived in Pakistan on the 21st of this month and then reportedly travelled to Multan. In Multan, he started showing symptoms of the coronavirus. He's now been shifted to an isolated ward at the Nishtar Hospital. The Pakistani Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that nearly about 28,000 Pakistani students live and study in China. So they are expecting that the number of people who could return, possibly infected with coronavirus, could in fact go up. And there are also said to be about 800 traders and as many as about 1,500 travellers who are visiting China at this point of time. Now, the Foreign Minister of Maldives, Abdullah Shahid, has also confirmed six Moldavian students are trapped in Wuhan and that the government is in consultation with the Chinese government to evacuate and get them back home.